me, Mackenzie Marie, and today I'm gonna try to dye my hair with watercolor paints. I have never actually tried to dye my hair with watercolor paints before, but I've been able to successfully dye my hair with all different types of markers, all different types of Sharpies, highlighters. But one thing that I haven't experimented with at all are watercolor paints. So let's try to do this thing. I have four packs of watercolor paints, some hot water, and conditioner. The way to do this is I'm gonna guess I'm going to break the paint out of the actual paint palette itself and put it in a bowl like this. Dab it. Ooh. Crack her and dump her into the bowl. And did I mention I'm dyeing my hair blue today? I'm tired of the green hair. I need a change. So I'm going back about it. Just wash my bowl and you can already see the paint is starting to dissolve in the bowl. I have a feeling this is going to work really well. I love this. So I'm going to use the blue in the palette. I'm also going to use the green because I want it to be like a teal blue color. Just like flip it into the bowl. Crack this thing. It pops out of the palette like pretty easily. Gotta get all of the paint out. Beautiful. Ooh. Satisfying. I mashed up all the paints. I put them in this bowl with some steaming hot water. I'm just gonna pour a little, 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 little bit in there. With my paintbrush, I just start mixing it until it all dissolves into a paste. It's slowly dissolving. I'll be here for the next 20 hours dissolving this paint. I'm gonna dye my hair back blue. I'm so excited to be dyeing my hair back blue. I haven't dyed my hair blue in so freaking long. I miss the blue hair. I literally feel like when my hair is blue, like I am living my best life, I am thriving. Look at that though. Look at how pretty that color is. Still mixing up the paint. Still mixing up the paint. Still mixing up the paint. I've been sitting here for literally 45 minutes mixing this stuff up until it turned into a liquid. There's still some chunks in it. It's a really concentrated dark green teal blue color. I hope this is enough to dye my hair. I got some conditioner. I'm just gonna fill all of this up with conditioner. This is my favorite part when I get to mix it all up and see what the color actually looks like. Look at this color, dude. I'm so excited to be dyeing my hair back blue. So nice. This is so beautiful. I don't know why I dye my hair any other color other than teal because every single time, I'm just gonna go back to teal. Look at this color. There's still chunks of like paint in it. Now that I've made my dye out of watercolor paints, it's time to dye my hair with it. I'm so excited, I'm so excited. I'm just gonna go straight down the middle. going to cry. I can't believe this is my hair right now. If this actually dies my hair, dude, it's game over. It's game over. Watch your man. Watch yourself. I'm coming for you. I don't know what to do. It looks so freaking cool. My hair looks like Tahiti. It looks like one of those tropical places that has the huts on the water that everyone wants to go to. That's now my hair. That is located on my noggin. If you guys have any suggestions as to what I should dye my hair with next, let me know in the comment section below. I got these little hairs back here. How am I supposed to dye my hair? See, this is my problem. I can never get the back of my head. I'm literally just grabbing dye and just like massaging into my head like, yes, it feels nice. But like, someone please tell me the back of my head doesn't look that bad. Does it look bad? 
Don't answer that, I know it looks bad. Talk about bright, talk about whoa, talk about color. This color insane. Uh, it's so beautiful. I need to chill, dude. Look at the pigment. I spent 45 minutes dissolving this color. I'm gonna say it now, it was worth it. Like I'm always shocked when it comes out amazing. Like I should know by now that I'm actually just amazing at dyeing my hair. Look at this side, so boring, so bland. Ugh. Now look at this side. Hello, fierce. Ooh, 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 ooh. Who knew? School paints. Insane. I might not be the best at when it comes to physically dyeing my hair, but when it comes to making hair dye and getting the color, ain't nobody do it better. You can tell Guy Tang I said that. Okay. 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 Honestly, this is a sick look too. We just ombre it. Eh. Dude, I just want to dye my hair every color. Why can't I just dye my hair every color? That's what I want to do. I want I want that so bad. I, 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 should I dye my hair rainbow? What do you guys think of this color? If this comes out, the color that I'm putting in right now, thriving, living my best life. You can't compare it. Do you see that there is dye everywhere on my body? Oh, it's not just on my body. It's everywhere. Dyeing my hair has literally become a personality trait at this point. Is that just me? Can anybody else relate? Before my funeral, if my hair does not get freshly dyed, I'm gonna be pissed. I'm gonna be pissed! Oh my god, there's like chunks of the paint still inside of the dye. One of these really cost me $1.99. I used three of them. And now I have dyed my hair with them. Insane! Say it for the people in the back if they didn't hear. Insane! It's so bright. It's also all over my body. To get the back of my head, I just take a bunch. Massage it in there. And that's how I dye the back of my head. All of my hair is teal again. I love it! This is what I'm talking about. Color, thriving, vibing. Watch your man because I'm coming for him. Not actually, because that would be really offensive, and I don't want to take your man. Sorry if it seemed like I did for a second, that was really not where I was trying to go with that. It was just like, watch out, my hair is teal, like I look fantastic, I'm vibing, you know, you know what I'm saying. This is awkward now. If there is a big spot in the back of my head that I did not die and you did not let me know, I'm gonna be pissed, okay? Friends don't do that to each other. I'm gonna let this sit on my hair for like the next three hours until it gets hard and crunchy. That way I know that there's no way that it can dye my hair anymore. Then I'm gonna wash it out and show you guys the results. Can watercolor paint actually dye your hair? We're gonna find out today. All right guys, so this is how my hair ended up turning out. When I washed this out, I used no shampoo, I used no conditioner. I barely washed any of the dye out just because I want it to be as bright as it possibly could be. The color looks actually fantastic. It's so bright, it's so beautiful. I can't believe that this actually worked. For some reason, that lighting was making my hair look like so much more green than it actually is. Like this lighting is more realistic as to what the color actually looks like. Up close on my roots is like this dark blue color, but down here it's like this really nice teal color. For some reason, I don't know why it's making it look more green than it actually is because in person it's really not that green. This lighting is way more accurate as to what the color actually looks like. I'm not gonna lie, I'm actually obsessed with it. Like I can't stop looking at the color. It's just so beautiful. Dare I say that this is one of my most favorite colors that I have ever dyed my hair. 100% it totally is. I've never had my hair look like this before and I'm in love, I'm obsessed. I just can't stop looking at it, dude. Like who is she? I feel brand new. Do I think the color's gonna last? Honestly, I think this has like two washes at max and then the color is just gonna be all out and faded and disgusting and ugly. But regardless, it's still worth it's still dyeing my hair for the time being and I think it looks actually gnarly. Let me know in the comment section down below how you think my hair turned out. Do you like it? What do we think? Are we living for it? If you enjoyed this video and you wanna see more like it, make sure to give this video a thumbs up right now. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button down below, click the bell button, turn on your post notifications so you can be notified the next time I upload a new YouTube video because I want you to be here first. And if you want to, you can follow me over on Instagram TikTok, Twitter, or Twitch, 
at Mackenzie Marie because when I'm not over here, I'm definitely over there and you should be too. I love you guys so freaking much and I will see you here in my next video. Toodles! Bye.